but your early race leader, Kate, of course, the owner of 18 career USMTS modified victories, the driver out of Aroma Lean, Louisiana, behind the wheel of that Shane and Shelley Sprinkle owned SNS Fishing and Rental MB Custom. Of course, Donnie Peterson turning the wrenches on the 97 for the past couple of years. Kate finished second to Jason Hughes a year ago in the USMTS National Championship chase. Of course, we mentioned last night, but Jason Hughes not here. He was involved in a really ugly crash of the Thunderbird Speedway in Muskogee, Oklahoma a couple of weeks ago. Got a concussion, but he is very close to being ready to go racing. He wanted to be here, and we wish he was. However, sitting it out, making sure he's all good to go. He'll take next weekend off as well as we'll compete next weekend, and then we kick off the hunt for the Casey's Cup the first weekend of August, and Jason says he'll be back and ready to go for that one. Fresh slices of Godfather's Pizza just got delivered here down in the concession stand. Cheese, sausage, beef, and pepperoni. Just $3.50 a slice. If you've been hankering for a slice of Godfather's Pizza, we got your fix down in the concession stand. Both sides open. You get you twice as have. fast tonight at the Silver Dollar Nationals. Looks like they've taken the driver's side off of Brad Dirk's 29D bench. Oh, I can't say I've ever been But that happened on the opening lap. Brad Dirk's got some sheet metal damage, and they have removed that so it does not fly off onto the speedway. Well, Chris, no big surprise. We've seen all weekend here, and you look who runs one and two right now, Kate Dillard and Ryan Gustin. They have been the class of the field so far this weekend. And Kate Dillard this year, 12 wins already. He's been red hot. Ryan Gustin and limited starts by his standards. So we talked about still some big wins. His second King of America win and the $50,000 modified Masters up at Cedar Lake. Right now they run one, two, but how about Jesse Sonning back at third? Jesse Sonning, Yeah, a very interesting top five right now, as we mentioned, the 19 hour Augusta teamed up with Jason Hughes at the end of 2016. The first weekend that he jumped behind the wheel of that race car was at the Southern New Mexico Speedway in Las Cruces, New Mexico for the USRA Fall Nationals, and he won 10 grand there. Two weeks later, jumped back behind the wheel of it at the 81 Speedway right outside of Wichita and won 5 grand there. The next time he competed in it, basically, was in the King of America, and he won 10 grand there. So he may not have a dozen wins right now, but he is on point when the big money's on the line. Yeah, he definitely is. And that team running really well. Jay Bohannon here this weekend turning wrenches on that car back with the Hughes race cars and helping out. And like you said, talked to Jason Hughes the other day. He really wanted to be here, but he said, I want to be smart. Give it a, about another week or so to kind of let things heal up. Got a pretty good concussion over there at Thunderbird Speedway. Hate to not see him here this weekend, but you can guarantee he's going to be a factor in the hunt this year. And I'm very envious of you because right now you got a talented roster of drivers chasing that 2017 Casey's National Championship. Well, I tell you what, when we kick the hunt off here in a couple of weeks, it is anybody ball game. A great four-day swing. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, August 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Thursday night, the Springfield Raceway, Springfield, Missouri. Friday night of the Humboldt Speedway in Humboldt, Kansas. Saturday night of the Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. And Sunday night, August 6th, the Monette Motor Speedway in Monette, Missouri. Good four-day swing there. Hey, let's fire them off. You bet. We got time. We might as well blow them up. Ben, you, uh, you go to a lot of races, and I go to a lot of races. cigarette lighter and they just found it and they light it on lap two caution here in the modified main event so cross that one off the list chris seven hey maybe maybe they've got a treat for us maybe every caution if there's some more they're gonna blow some more up we'll see hey we'll watch fireworks anytime <laughs> it don't matter so they're working on turn number one still kevin rutherford's now hooked up in the nine kate dillard however has got that thing really really good through the middle of the racetrack ryan gustin if everybody if you've never seen I ryan see gustin friends, race the big guys a, always that what cushion pounder here. basically oh, he loves it as high as he can get up on the top of the racetrack and Where Jesse Sobbing with that crate. I, no idea. I, I saw him. Kevin was here. Really that was the only one. Yeah, a lot of smoke back there as one of the competitors rolls past us and the sides off the race car. You might see it from the top, Chris, but some of a lot of smoke back there on row number three. Yeah, that's Brad Dirks, the 29, where they just tore the sheet metal off the driver's side. We're checking to see if maybe he's got a bar rubbing or sheet metal or, well... I don't know what that is, but he's got a lot of smoke rolling off the left rear of the 29D, so they'll probably stop him over there, I'm guessing, and at least take a look at it. He's got a lot of things bouncing.
bouncing around on that 29 now that he has no driver's door anymore. Yeah, looks like they're going to check that car out. Well, we talked about Johnny Scott last night. He's run quite the eclectic season for the Dakota Mod Tour. He's run some IMCA events, USMTS, USRA. Came up just short in that Dakota chase for the championship, but did get some wins. He's here. He won that $1,000 dash last night as Dirks is going to go back pit side. And then, of course, Vanderbeek, Zach Vanderbeek in the 33 in that custom-built Vanderbilt race car. He keeps running like this, Chris. We're going to see a lot of Vanderbilt race cars in 2018. Well, I'll tell you what, Zach, as we told you last night, has finished in the top three or four about every start this year, basically. He's been very, very consistent behind the wheel of that 33Z. Turned it up a couple of weeks ago when he started going to victory lane night after night after night. He is uh, pretty excited for this $10,000 to win check here on the line tonight. We'll see if the Z-Man can get up there and challenge with Gustin Dillard and company before this thing is all said and done. Jake Tim also peaking just outside the top five. The one known up Minnesota driver making the trip down and that was a surprise venture here this weekend. It's really cool to see Jake down here. Definitely a hard charger as you mentioned. Just got his first USMTS win. And when you hit a Mississippi Thunder Speedway, you know you got to deal with the 49 car. Well, and you're exactly right. As Jake wasn't sure he was going to be able to make it here is of course his dad, the owner of Mississippi Thunder Speedway in Fountain City, Wisconsin. And they run every Friday night. They rained out yesterday early enough and they had their race car ready to go anyway, so they just jumped in the hauler and beelined it here for Nebraska from Winona, Minnesota. It's a good thing they did as he's sitting almost in the top five having a great weekend so far. Definitely. Well, it's like we're just about ready to get this one back underway. And again, you look at you look at the states represented. You got Louisiana, uh, of course, you got Iowa, Iowa back through there, then you pop in New Mexico. Oklahoma, quite an eclectic field here, chasing 10,000 as we're about ready to get back underway. Delaware double file restart alignment behind the 97 MK Dillard. You mentioned 12 wins for Dillard, but this would be a big one paycheck wise, prestige wise, and it's been a little while since Kate been to victory lane in the United States modified touring series anyway, so he would love to hold off the hounds behind him. Yeah, and, and you know, shout out, I know one of his big sponsors, big part of that car, Shane Sprinkle, SNS Fishing and Rental, watching along tonight. He would love to see Cade get that win, and a lot of drivers from the Cajun State. They've seen a lot of Cade Dillard in Victory Lane, and the rest of the country the past couple of years is getting to see what they have been suffering through for about the past five or six years down in Louisiana and Texas. No, no doubt about it, Shane and Shelly, great, great people, great ambassadors of the sport. Here we go, their driver will lead us back to the green this time by Cade.
He's had a good year between the late model and the mod. He's won in both of them. And right now, he's trying to prove that he is the sleeper here in the 10,000 win main event. We pick up the debris off the straightaway. Frustrating, when it's worth to note, a couple of raindrops, nothing major, but a couple of raindrops falling here and there. We'll keep an eye on it as we get set to go back green. Now we do see a cloud right over us. Looks awfully clear to the west. We should be all right, but like you mentioned, a cloud kind of rolling across the top of the IED Speedway. Nothing to worry about, I don't believe. Caution lights are out as we're ready to go back to green. Kate Dillard Need about a five continues minute to lead forward. in 97. It's Dillard, Augustin, oh, yeah. Sobbing, Scott, and Vanderbeek. Still the top five as we are ready to go early here in this one. Six in the books, 34 to go.
Anderson replay. For those of you watching at DirtOnDirt.com, the trouble right in front of the Gustin Dillard battle. At the front of the field, Ryan Gustin, Kate Dillard, Johnny Scott, then it's Jesse Sobbing. And I don't think I'd count out Rodney Sanders. We haven't talked about him a whole lot, Ben. He is undefeated here in USMTS action since July 19th of 2013. And uh, hasn't really been a factor yet. He's been kind of a quiet 6th, 7th, 8th place runner, but he is now in the top 5 in that 20. Yeah, and we'd be sadly mistaken if you count Rodney Sanders out at I-80 Speedway. That's going to be the only modified race he runs all year, and he'd be a factor. And clearly, he's run more mod races this year, and he's won in it as well as in the late models. He'll be in the 80 lap. We're coming up in just a little bit. But now into the top 5, as Rodney Sanders has been waiting to show his hand as we get ready to get this one back underway. We told you great race fans last night, Derek Ramirez took the three week that we had three weeks that we had off here between last week and the Masters and golfed a lot, retinned his race car and kind of got a new attitude is what he told me and he's been running awfully well since then. The caution lights are out, he's into the top, where is he? Sixth and four R. So we'll keep an eye on him as well as we are ready to come back to green. Ryan Gustin, your race leader, 17 laps of those are almost halfway done for the 19 R. Lead lap. And we're happy. 
Zach Vanderbeek. A slow and methodic start down the back straight away for your race leader, Ryan Gustin in 19. Sit 
in the top 15. Bill Dixon still there. Lance Town still there. There we go. Coming back to green. It's a 10-lap shootout. 